Would you like being welcomed with a cake? Not on a plate, but on your face. That would be pretty rude, isn't it? The Ryanair chief executive, Michael O'Leary, was welcomed exactly like that in Brussels. He received two cream cakes to his face. They were landed by two female climate activists. This time it was cake. Before this, it has been soup, mashed potatoes, paint and whatnot. Not just on a CEO's face, but on priceless Van Gogh paintings as well. How far can you go in the name of activism? Our next report getting you the complete story. This is Michael O'Leary. He is the CEO of Irish carrier Ryanair. Yesterday, he was in Brussels to deliver a passenger petition. He was taking flyers out of a box when two climate activists came and smashed two cream cakes on his face. Listen to what they said. Welcome in Belgium! Stop the pollution of the plane! Well done. Ryanair CEO said that he loved cream cakes. He then went on to brief the media about the petition he was there to discuss. Why did the activist attack him? To protest the impact of air travel on climate change. Then there was this incident in New York. Climate activists interrupted the US Open semi-final between Coco Gauff and Karolina Mukova. Three protesters stood wearing t-shirts that said, End Fossil Fuels. One of the protesters glued their feet to the floor of the stands at Arthur Ashe Stadium. Security flooded into the section around the demonstrators. More than a dozen law enforcement officers arrived on the scene. The protesters were removed by New York Police Department officers. One was handcuffed by police but was affixed to the floor. Medics attempted to extricate the protesters safely. The match was halted for 45 long minutes. How far can you go in the name of climate activism? Lately, there has been a trend of activists gluing themselves somewhere or defacing and vandalizing art. Earlier in July, protesters in Germany glued their hands to airport runways using concrete and epoxy resin. Flight operations were severely disrupted. There was delay and chaos. Last year, multiple pieces of art fell prey to this activism. Van Gogh's sunflowers were spattered with canned tomato soup. Then a painting in Monet's grain stack series was smeared with mashed potatoes. At a museum in The Hague, a man glued his head to Vermeer's girl with a pearl earring. Another man poured a thick red liquid over him with his hand glued to the wall. While none of the paintings were damaged as they were protected by glass, it was vandalism nonetheless. Why do activists resort to these desperate measures to gather attention? Activists say they do it to raise awareness about the climate emergency. But is this really justified? Where do we draw the line? How far can you really go in the name of activism? Bureau Report, we on World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.